Hi, welcome. Thanks for opting in and joining me here for an introduction on scoliosis. Scoliosis is one of those conditions that the traditional literature and medical opinion would suggest can't actually be managed apart from bracing or surgery. Uh, that's not on. Um, you can actually do much better than that and I'm going to show you how. Um, but it's really exciting to know that there is actually a self-empowering model that can support you and it's all about what you do with your habits. So I don't want you to be in a, in a position where you feel as though you're helpless and you can't do anything about scoliosis and you have to watch and wait. No, you don't. Actually, you can do something about it and I'm going to show you how to do something about it just using a case example. And it's important because it helps you understand what it is that habit-driven health can actually do. All right, so let's take a look at this person here who came in with a previous surgery and her surgery was done down low in the lower back in here and there are approximately five or six screws put in, possibly a bit more on either side, down in the lower back. Now, I'm having to make changes, not just to the scoliosis, but to the impact that previous surgery that's tried to fixate the spine is actually having on this person. So, at 16 years of age, who would like two surgeries? No, thank you. We wouldn't like two surgeries. We'd actually like to see if we can do something naturally. And so what we saw was, and after a day only of reaching out with her left hand in a certain way, look what happened to the distance between the arm and the waist here compared to the arm and the waist on this side. And you'll see here now that this vertical line, possibly not um, exactly where I'd like it. So we'll just insert another line in here and we're going to actually see Bring it over. Come on, young fella. Away you go. We're going to bring that line just over there um, to the middle of the, the legs, um, where the joint in the legs is. And we'll see here how the spine has definitely moved. It's definitely moved over um, to the left-hand side. And you can see that the whole shift of the torso has gone over to the left. Even that, you can start to see the shoulder blade in here moving. And that's important because you can actually do something and pretty quickly with regards to moving the spine towards center and we see that time and again now if somebody has uneven shoulders um, then it's important that they actually feel good especially in their teens but it's important that you feel good about knowing that you can do something and something really simple that competes rather nicely with very sophisticated but irreversible technologies now, how difficult was that? Within one day, this lady knew how to actually bring her spine over to the left within one day. And will it stay there? Of course it will, especially if, you can, if she continues with that activity. But there's going to be a natural um, tendency for the body to default to its original and more sustained position. But will she be able to bring it back? Of course she will. And she'll be able to do it easily. So. The whole idea of being able to influence the spine, whether it's a top curve up in here and, uh, or a, um, a lower curve down in here as well, it can be done, it may take time, but gee whiz, even if it took three months or four months to be able to demonstrate some um, techniques that work to be able to reduce scoliosis, this is so much better than seeing the scoliosis develop over a period of one year where it got worse. And you're actually doing it in less than half the time and you're showing that the scoliosis can get better and dramatically better something that's visual this doesn't even require an x-ray so that's really good news that's really good news that people will be able to see using low dose or no dose radiation that they'll be able to take a low intervention rather than a high risk intervention at reducing the spine that's two pieces of good news the third piece is that you're empowered to be able to do this and to be able to bring your body back into center. So if you would like to learn more about what can be done in your case as well, well then let's get started because this is really important. So you click on the description box below and let's just see how we can actually take you further towards self-healing. Now, I'm gonna show you one other case as well. So let's get rid of that for the moment. Okay, so now I'm going to show you a case where um, over a period of months, not just a day, but over a period of months, that you can actually see progressive change. So here is a young man with a, a condition called Sherman's disease. Now Sherman's disease is one of those things that doesn't just affect men, but it does so more men than women. 
but you can see how big the bump is here in the lower back and you can see that his bottom is actually much further in and his back is much further out and these red lines here are the same in all of the photos but you can see how much his back is moving forwards in these photos all right his back is almost in line with his bottom here it's definitely not in line with his bottom here august september october november december they say it can't be done wrong it can be done look there's the proof all right it can be done and it is being done in people all right so i want you to be one of those people that can actually have a low dose radiation a low dose intervention and the opportunity to be able to see your spine change in pretty short periods of time i hope that really excites you again Go down to the description box, let's get started, book in your appointment for a Calendly appointment here with me so that I can take what's called a fact find. Now the fact find looks like this, I'm going to demonstrate this with you now as well. So what we're doing now is we're basically taking a look and gathering information using three sessions. They're called the fact find sessions and what I need to do is actually need to explore with you your medical history. Some people might have had their tonsils out when they're 5 or 33. Some people might have had their gallbladder out, or some people might have actually been through a number of specialists and seen people because they are just incredibly unwell. Well, unfortunately, we'd like to see people earlier on in life, not later on in life when those things happen. But the second part of the fact find as well is also dedicated towards understanding what you do with your habits. See, some people easily do this, and they'll do it for hours, or they'll sit with their legs off to the side or with a heel to the chair. And the reality is, is that there are so many different types of positions that go on and they all have their influence um, on the spine and the presentation. So if we don't go to that level of detail, we're never going to change. It'll just go round in circles and you'll think, well, my scoliosis is getting worse and I don't know why. Well, we can't have that. You see, there is a cause and effect model at work here, and this is the reason why we, we go into these fact find sessions so that we lay a good foundation for success. We need to actually explore the medical history, we need to explore the habit-based history, and we need to take time. And unfortunately, people don't have time and they don't do this in their consultations, yet it's so necessary in order for you to achieve breakthrough and success. So what we do is we go through all of those things, medical, habit-based history, and then we formulate a strategic plan. And that strategic plan is presented on the second session along with the consent form so that when we go through a detailed consent procedure um, as well, it gives you the opportunity to ask questions. Because again, people don't spend time telling people what's involved and what are the risks. So one surgery leads to another and there's obviously unlevel shoulders and pain to boot with all of those surgical complications and revision surgery is high, estimated sometimes as high as 40%, but people aren't even told these things. Sometimes they are, fortunately, because they at least can go into the surgery knowing. Well, it's the same here with this habit-based model, but Leonardo da Vinci captured it really well. He said simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. If you can get something simple to unravel a complex health problem, that shows empowerment and that's what we'd like to do with this habit driven health model we want to give you that sense of empowerment all right and in the third session the third fact finding session we go through a demonstration what can be achieved well you saw it in the first two examples there as well as to how people can actually make changes sometimes really dramatic changes in days i mean it's it's hard to believe it really is it's hard to believe that these changes can take place but the eyes don't deceive you you saw um, things that are occurring there and you've got to have some trust in that process of visualizing success and whilst it's hard to believe and I get that it really is is it really possible can it really happen that fast yes it can it's really exciting it's really exciting to be able to share that with you so in that third session we go through that practical strategy that's called the fact find all right and look it's important let's be upfront these sessions take time and it costs, it's $1,200 for the three sessions, but it lays a fantastic foundation for you to be able to make success. And this is what we go through. We go through these sorts of positions, all right? And we take a look at how people sit and stand, and there's lots of them. So there's lots of positions. So what I'd like to do is to be able to share with you something that gives you empowerment and saves you a future. 
Scoliosis may have robbed you a little bit in your past. It may be actually impacting you in your present. Don't let it affect your future. Take control of it. You can do something about it. The habit-driven health model is an empowering model of care and it gives you the tools to be able to make changes. Simple changes like this. And boy, does it carry impact. So I look forward to sharing it with you again. Click on the link below and let's get started and let's do something about your future. All right, my name's Daniel Dada and I help people who have lost hope and especially those with unexplained illnesses and appearance disorders. Thank you for watching.